organization to uh, rendezvous with the uh, MSC Texas, which is one of the largest container vessels. I call on the Port of Houston. She's uh, 1,090 feet long and uh, 140 foot wide. Uh, the weather is uh, a little bit trying this morning. We have some high winds. Uh, front passed through last night. And uh, so we're assessing the situation, whether we can uh, get the uh, ship in under these conditions. Uh, we also have uh, some traffic out here at the pilot station. And the MSC Texas will not be the only vessel arriving at this time. So we're coordinating those arrivals. Uh, it will work out as seamlessly as possible. So these larger vessels and that, we're holding them to a daylight only uh, window. Uh, bring them up because of their size and the, the confines of the channel, not only the Houston Ship Channel, but into the Bayport Channel and turning it. So right now we're requiring to, uh, to make these maneuvers, these transits during the daylight time. Now we're carrying more than one pilot, right? Yes. There'll be two pilots on board, uh, myself and uh, Captain Mike Newton, and, uh, and we'll uh, assist each other and uh, split up the work up the channel, from the channel, the channel transit into a document and we'll return to the more upward base. Explain to us the process of how it works with you doing this vessel in the ship and then what you're doing when you get out. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll board uh, up the side of the ship through the vessel. We'll be escorted to the bridge. We'll have a meeting with the captain. He'll give us, uh, this is called the master pilot exchange, where a lot of information, pertinent information, is exchanged in a very uh, short time. And, that, and then uh, very quickly, I, I will take over uh, control of the vessel as far as uh, uh, speed, heading, course, and, uh, and head the vessel up towards the uh, entrance to the Houston Ship Channel and continue guiding it up the channel to its uh, eventual dock. Well, the bridge team is uh, its usually comprised of uh, the master, an officer of the watch, quartermaster, and usually several of the lookouts. So each one of those uh, individuals has a, uh, has a duty on the bridge. The quartermaster, for say, he's actually steering the vessel. He'll be standing in front of the helm and giving the rudder orders as I give them to him whether I give him a course to steer or a, a rudder uh, order of uh, starboard 10 or water starboard. Uh, and then the, the main, the officer that you're watching that, he'll be charged with uh, applying the uh, engine orders to the telegraph, whether we're proceeding in slow ahead, half ahead, full ahead, or stop the engine. Uh, but everybody has a, uh, has a uh, part in that process of maneuvering that ship up there. Uh, the captain is ultimately in charge and the pilot uh, is there to assist the captain in safe passage of that vessel up the channel. If we looked at the weather, not only out here at station but up the bay, we have different weather stations that are giving us input and that. And the wind's been a little bit over the limit where we don't where we we'll take this ship in and that but we're going to bring her up anyway and uh, hopefully during our transit up the wind will drop out a little bit and uh, we'll be able to get her in there. Uh, if it doesn't uh, pan out like that, if it doesn't uh, come together, then we'll also have the option to turn the ship at the Bayport Channel, the intersection there, and bring her back out to sea if, if the wind is uh, perhaps increasing that. So, uh, when you're dealing with front passage through like this, uh, you really don't know how strong and how long it's going to it's going to blow before before it, uh, it, it lays down. Okay, yeah, uh, we've made our transit up the bay, and uh, now we're getting to a point in time where. In the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to be taking our assist tugboats alongside. And uh, winds have started to abate a little bit. Uh, 
So we think we may have a window to uh, to get her in there, but we're going to get up, make the tugboats fast, uh, approach the turn real slow, and uh, see how she's handling, see what kind of conditions they have. Uh, if things go well, we'll, we'll take her on in there. If uh, it doesn't act like I need it to act, then uh, we'll uh, just turn the ship around and take her back out in the sea because the wind would be too much. But uh, that's it. safely alongside. Uh, overall, the operation went very well. There was some trying conditions, the wind, as I was explaining earlier on. But uh, the ship is a very good handling ship, a very, very large ship, but uh, good rudder power and uh, good engine response. Uh, we had excellent tugboats, uh, the service of uh, three Z-Tech world-class tractor tugs. Uh, we were able to get her alongside. But, uh, Today was a day of a little bit unknown, uh, but we had to get up here and give it a look to try to do everything we could to uh, meet our customers' needs to keep them on schedule and get the job done safely. Uh, have a good day. Hey, well done. Appreciate it.